What a better thing to say for my last video of the year than a reminder for what my channel is not about. This guy over here didn't like my Feast of the North Star video because he wasn't sold into watching it and therefore it was bad. Well, that's strange. Since I wasn't trying to sell you the anime, reviewing is not about selling you a product and it wasn't a review to begin with. It was an overview about my overall thoughts about the show, the ups, the downs, how it aged and for what kind of people it's aimed for. I was paid for making it, but I wasn't paid for making you all think it's the best shit ever. The payer knew that and he wouldn't want it any other way. The reason I am making such a fuss about it is because most plebs nowadays think that the only reason reviews exist is for hyping them up for something, either for making them be excited for consuming something or either for confirming their fondness of something they have already consumed. A negative review doesn't make sense to these people, much less a balanced one. And let me make it clear that it was a balanced one, despite me being a fan of the anime. I mentioned what it had that I liked and what it had that might not make it that good for others. I was being fair and this guy is making a big fuss about it because for him it was bad for not being sold into liking the show. Which is pissing me off because he says it in a way that makes it sound like it's what reviewing is all about. It's not about explaining why something is good by comparing it to its contemporaries. It's not about clarifying the historical context under which it became famous at the time it came out. And it's sure not about pointing out it has its problems despite me being a fan of it. No sir, reviewing is about always being excited, always liking something and always a shilling whatever you are talking about. Like Chibi and his flower symbolisms in Tokyo Ghoul, or the ogre and his claims of 2021 being the year of Boruto. If that is what you expect me to do with my channel, then the problem is not the way I talk about anime, it's your plebeian mindless consumerism mentality. This video sucks not for talking negatively about me because I wasn't derping non-stop about an anime I like. It sucks because it misrepresents what proper reviewing is all about. It goes against critical thinking and spreads a false image of what an analyst should be doing. For that reason alone, it deserves to be made fun of. It deserves to be memed and used as another example as to why casuals do not understand what critics are doing, why they hate proper analysis and why this community is never going to be taken seriously if we let this to keep happening. And that's the last thing I had to say about this dreadful year. Happy New Year, mindless consumers!